there we go. The last night in Norway here in Hjelmeland camping with this beautiful bay window. Even though it's not a bay window, but it is a bay window. Nice enough little place. Terrible water pressure and hot as Beelzebub's sex take last night. Sadly, we were unable to avail ourselves of the Weber grill. We also didn't manage to get the boat in the water, but time is tight on tours like this. Are we ready for the off, General? Yes, I am. I just put the clothes up. So the steeds are loaded up for the last time, for the first time, for the last time, to carry us and our weary bodies to the ferry and back to the main, well, we're kind of, yeah, mainland. You can't really say that, can you? The way is a mainland. Anyway, yeah, last day of the trip. The beeline seems to have become quite loose in its mount. I guess it doesn't like the vibrations after all. It's quite loose in its direction as well. Yeah. Also loose in its direction, says Ian. I, th yeah, I think as we've already established, a lot of that is user error. It works perfectly well when there's no scenery to look at. Oh, throw my weary leg over my weary bike. Which I've just realised actually when I came off in the ditch the other day, I actually bent the gear lever slightly, so that's uh, something to look at when I get home. I'm going to touch it now because the thing will probably break off and then we're shafted. But anyway, once more into the breach, dear friend, however it goes, look at this. Come on, Andy, come on, hurry up, I'm ready, I'm waiting for you. Have you got his bloody gloves on yet? Yeah, two gloves, you need two gloves. Look at that, Ian, we're the last people to leave. So at 11 o'clock, I think this is our latest getaway yet. So Ian, it's a short day, that's how disasters all start, isn't it? It was a normal day, the weather was nice, although the wind has picked up to, to blow us off of this fair land. Damn right nobody's blowing you on. That wasn't in the contract. Right then, although it is the end of the trip, let's get our chins up, shall we? Because we've still got a day of Norwegian twisties. Yeah, of course you can. Norwegian twisties, go! Down there, at the very end of this fjord, is where we stayed on the second night in Norway. And this is the complete other end of it. And in the middle of this little fjord is the Prekestolm, which I think translates the, as the preacher's mount or the pe preacher's pulpit or something. The Peter Picker Picker a Pipe of Picker Picker Preacher Pepper Peppers. So we're going to go and see if we can try and see it from the road from this side because to get to it properly and stand on it is something like a four hour hike from the the car park, which rocker gear is great, it's very breathable, fully vented, but it's not good enough for a four hour hike. So, yeah, let's have a look.
shit. Yep. Bloody stone there. Oh, take again. One, two, three, go. Edge it backwards a bit. I'm gonna get past this rock. Jesus Christ. Have I broken on this side now? Fing hell. Fuck's sake. You okay? Yeah, I'm just pissed off. Watch me lose the drone as well now. Well, here we go, ladies and gents, just this old chestnut again. I've ditched the drone. Now I need to go and try and find it before my phone battery dies. So using the find my drone thing, hopefully I can locate it. This could actually be the end of the dronage for me. I just, I can't deal with the stress. Jesus, it's down there. This shit is slippery as F. Yeah, lower power mode on the phone, great stuff. There's a road down there, so that might be the better option. Go back up, come back down with the bike, save some battery for the phone. This is definitely it for me. Too much of an idiot to have a drone. With great power comes great stupidity. And even though I have DJI Care, it doesn't cover idiocy. Oh, Jesus. The view's pretty spectacular though. Just had to have it on the day when we've got ferry to catch. Luckily, Programmed in. Programmed in. Luckily, we programmed in a couple of hours of playtime. So, hopefully, it should be alright. But the omens are there, aren't they? Drop your bike, lose your drone. And also, all for nothing, I didn't even get what I wanted. Couldn't find it. Where am I in relation to it now? We've gone past it. What's the last time? Seven o'clock. Uh, what time is it now? Forty-four. Okay. Does it give you a distance? It gives me a dot where the thing is, a dot where I am, and then a line connecting me. What now it does? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. And what does it say? It says that the uh, phone is overheating, so that's good. to that far end of the water at least. We are getting closer. And the old crab descent here. Into the bog. Wet feet again. 
looks exactly like where, where I walked down to. Hopefully it's not. Right, hang on, we can watch the video of its final moments. Doesn't help at all. Nothing I like more than hiking up ankle breaking terrain with a device in each hand. It's all part of the adventure, isn't it? You don't risk your gear, are you even really living? God, am I even actually getting any closer? Oh, I was looking at the wrong pissing lake. It's down there, isn't it? Oh, I just hiked up that hill for nothing. That is not the way down. Grab it in. Look, how cute. This ground is so loose and squashy. Ooh, and deep. There we go, head in the pond. Pond, the brook. Could have done with a brook shield. So go up to come down. I'm cover the cuts if I go that way. What side of the water are you? Thanks to my super wet boots, I've got a stonker of a blister on my toe. And it must be this, the far side of the water. This is too far away to be this side. And it's in between me and the beautiful, beautiful fjord. I'm getting very, very close now. I just hope it's not off of there. Now, this thing is far enough away from the water that hopefully it just landed a bit crooked and then slid down to safety or toppled over into that grass there. Because I should be practically on top of the thing by now. When I did this with the Mavic Air a couple of years ago, the dot saying where the drone was kept on jumping around. It was a little bit irritating. Okay, that's gotta be tens of paces rather than hundreds now. And I find it with a broken femur, dislocated jaw and a decidedly wobbly temperament. Also really helps that it's a grey drone on grey rocks. That's, that's a real win, that is. Right, let's get a vantage point. See where this thing is. I'm right on top of it now. Should be here somewhere. Gone straight past it. No, I haven't gone straight past it. Yeah, well maybe it landed in this grass, hopefully not in that swamp there. Uh, who else is fed up with drone recovery videos, eh? From me, and every other Tom, Dick and Harry did one. Thinks he can take the most cinematic footage in the world. Just ends up looking like a penis when he goes chasing after it. Please be past the swamp. Please be past the swamp. Looks like we're past the swamp. And now we really are right on top of it. Where the f are you? Yep. The arrow's doing that old favourite thing and it's moving around. I watch this stupid video again. The video looks like it potentially might have. I'm going to stamp on the frigging thing now. Because the problem is, this is the last location that it sent me before it disconnected, isn't it? Ah, oh, bugger me, there it is. Look at that.
One day, Simba, none of this will be yours. No scratches on the gimbal. No scratches anywhere, I think. Except for potentially cooking the battery. I think I've got away with that, so I'm gonna hike back to the bike without a camera because I just know we can carry on and catch our ferry and hopefully I can get a shower on there because I am soaked. Nearly there. So in the middle of nowhere, and then suddenly farmhouse. I'm gonna walk around this wall rather than climb over it and damage it. Interfere with the sheep, not interfere with, I mean, bother, no, not bother. Disturb. I'm gonna disturb these people's lovely sheep. Uh, normal sheep, almost home free. Looks a long way on the GoPro, because it is a long way. But thankfully the, the little road, it's just level with the house there, so, I don't know, 500 meters will be. Ready to put my big jacket on top of my sweaty body and carry on. Some, some old farm gear out the back here. Incredible to think. I used to use that stuff to work the land. And now it just looks cool. It's like me, isn't it? The older it gets, the cooler it looks. All right, the curtains on the house are closed. So hopefully that doesn't mean I'm gonna get buckshot in the arse any second now. We'll see. I start to run and drop the camera then it was nice knowing you. Glad I didn't go in there with those feathers though. They look oddly agitated, slightly aggressive, and a little bit unhinged. Be wary of anything that has to have a bell put on it for its own protection. Tick, follow, dock, follow, tick, follow, dock. Hey! Oh, there we go, back on the bike. What an idiot. So that won't happen again, that I can promise you wholeheartedly. But now we've just got to sadly get a bit of a shift on it. It's supposed to be a nice relaxed ride to the ferry, just a quick drone bike, 20 minutes, on we go. So here we go, let's get a bit of a shift here. The ferry just left them because there, there's not many cars, are there? Shit. Unless it's not very popular, who knows? I doubt it on the way to Stavanger, though. But well, so now, wait and see if we've got enough time. No, as if by magic, the ferry was uh, um, exactly at the same time as I had a gob for the sandwich. Yeah, it probably is more likely an electric engine than magic. But we can but dream. So here we go then, the last ferry that starts and finishes in Norway. <laughs> it's all coming to an end. Yes. First ferry caught. <coughs> We've got an ETA at the final ferry tonight of 1829. We have to be there by seven at the latest, 1900. So, the race is on. There we are, docking on the last ferry. We've got 1827 ETA, so I think we're gonna be good. Right then, ferry hole. I can already taste a cold one in the bar 
That is going to go down very, very nicely, even if it does cost 20 quid. <laughs> yeah, sorry Ian. We were going to buy a couple at the supermarket and get on there with those, but I think it's going to have to be my treat. <laughs> Well, there we go, there's the important supplies taken care of. Timmy's secured, now let's try and do the last 6.8 kilometers without any more frigging calamities. Well, there had to be a U-turn at the end of the trip, didn't there? Look at that, we've made it to the ferry port, 1833. Oh, that was knap, as the Germanians say. Tight, close. Thank you. There we go, we are checked in, in the line. Should we crack open a cold one? Correct answer. Here we go, we're leaving Norwegian shores. Goodbye, Norway. It's been a great time, thank you very much. Oh, and that's us on the boat. So, what is the uh, estimated time of FAF finishing? Yeah, it's less than finding a drone, however long it may be. Uh, come on, Andy. Oi, Ian, I found these for you. You can cock on, I'm getting the lift. No, they don't get these bikes anymore, do they? Go on, take the stairs. This is something we've left to do. I've had to bring my two bags from the hair product to Never used to be like this. Nothing ready, that was nothing ready. Is there a mute button? No, there is. Should turn the volume down? It's asleep. Nine? Nine, please, yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you. One chance. One floor, that's all you had to do, one button. I'm out. Please do. <laughs> Off you go. Is this nine? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bye. After you. Thank you. Oh, it's cold in there. Send me in the dark one, don't you? Oh, help! Help! All right, this is the store cupboard. See you later, nice crossing. <laughs> Windows are a bit interesting. Cheers. 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 Yeah, super fake again, Andy. Nobody really believes you. Here we go. Cheers. In Norwegian. Stand your bar.